Hello, I'm Seth Persigel, and this is Offworld Trading Company. Let's dive into a single player game up against the AI where we're going to play on multiplayer rules. Uh, just taking all the default settings, except we're going to bump it up to a full house of seven extra players. Let's play game. So the goal of this game is to buy out all the stock of your opponent's companies. Uh, you do this by mining resources, which you have to find on the map by scanning at the beginning of the game. So, I usually like to play as the robotic race, which uses the two primary resources of iron and aluminum. So what we're looking for is not medium sources of water. We're looking for aluminum and hopefully some steel nearby. So, once you find resources you like, you can set down your base. The first person to set down a base obviously gets the advantage of being able to pick anywhere on the map. But the later you go, you trade... Oops. Getting first dibs for extra... Oh, he took the site. And that's the downside. I have not seen any iron whatsoever. Aluminum. Okay. Iron, iron, iron. I got carbon, we got silicon. Still, not a drop of iron. Well, we're going to have to take that before someone else does. So let's go ahead and dive in. And take the silicon since it's right here. Since I just cannot find any iron. Where? Where were low levels of iron found? Okay. Alright. Well, we're going to take that and we're going to get an extra claim off the black market for the other sorts of iron because iron is ridiculously important to this race. Okay. So, we're off to a shaky start. Um, electricity could be an issue. This is no has no way to get connected to our base, so we are always going to have to fly trucks over, which costs electricity. Plot auction for a specific plot. View plot. I don't have any use for geothermal. I'll let the other players take it. Two power around the clock. Yeah, I'll let them have it. That's fine. Okay, so, thinking ahead, what do I need, what do I need? Carbon could be useful. Um, but f before that happens, we're gonna have to upgrade our base. And steel is relatively cheap right now, so let's do that. Okay, so. For our next base, we're gonna need a lot of steel and a lot of aluminum. Aluminum is taken care of, but steel is not. And we get steel by refining iron. So let's go ahead, ooh, do I want to build it here? Hmm. Yeah, we'll build it here because it takes. It'll save some of our transport costs. And. We'll need another shipment or two of iron before we can afford to build another steel mill, which I will build right next to it because when you build next to it, you get multipliers. And multipliers are good. Price of electricity is skyrocketing, so we are going to build some electricity. Like so. Next up, eventually we're going to want to build some electronics, and electronics need a little bit of a lot of things. So you need silicon, carbon, um, I believe some iron, oh, nope, aluminum, carbon, and silicon. That's all you need. Um, but we don't have any carbon. So what do we need to get carbon? We're going to need steel or cash. Well, steel is coming in shipments all the way from over here, so it'll be a little while. But as soon as we get that, we can build our carbon deposits. Or, yeah, carbon mining. And after that, we can build our electronics factory. Alright, so we got our iron incoming. Ah, 
A steel shipment. Good. Good. So as soon as that gets there, we'll have, what, 10, 100? Some amount. So another important thing in this, which constantly screws me over, is to keep your debt load low. Because the lower your debt, and the higher your funds, the higher your capital... Um, the better your stock price will be. And the better your stock price is, the harder it is for you to get bought out. Yes, please. So teleportation uh, makes it so you don't have to truck your resources across. I just bid against myself. Yep. Um, and if you don't have to truck your resources, you don't have to pay for the fuel or electricity for those trucks, and they can't get stolen by pirates, which is just really irritating. So, we're at an electric surplus, which is going to pay off our debt, which we just took out, by winning that auction. Except we're at nighttime now, so that surplus is turning into a shortage. We can live with that. We just got our 100 steel. So, let's construct a carbon mine. Where do we get carbon from? Doo -doo. Oh, looks like they're gonna build over there. Ooch. They just took out our iron and steel production. That is unfortunate. Well, we're gonna sell some aluminum to make up for that. Oh, and we can afford to upgrade now. That'll wipe out our steel supply. So instead, we're gonna build this. Like so, to get the bonus from being next to the carbon mine. Though I probably could have built it around here. Oh well, I'll remember that for next time. Silicon is doing well. This, we are going to need an extra. But we need more claims. Chemical surplus doesn't really affect us. Alright, so steel and iron production are back online. And back offline. Those bastards. Well, crud. At least we still have electricity production. We do need another set of claims. There we go. And so I'm going to build a windmill once we get the resources again. Um, 0 0.7, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. Let this be a to you all. Screw with us. Okay, and the reason I'm building a windmill is so that we have at least some electric production during the night because our solar panels are useless at night and will cause our debt to skyrocket, which is bad. EMPs, all this dirty plays. And I don't care about the pirates, uh, because I have teleportation. So I don't have trucks to be pirated. So what can we do? It's nighttime, but our electricity is keeping up just barely. Silicon production is doing well. We're going to sell some of that to get some money back. Carbon production is doing adequately. The black market is online. Alright, so we need more tiles. And we get more tiles by upgrading our base. So let's see. Upgrade to headquarters level 3 requires a lot more steel. Get steel by converting iron. And in order to do that, we need more land. So we need time. Time is what we need. Oh, there we go. So I believe now, yes, we have enough money, even though we don't have enough steel. Oh, another interesting fact about having teleportation is that 
your resources move to your center base as soon as they are produced. You don't longer have to wait for shipments of 100 resources to trail in from across the map. So it's just like being connected directly to the base, which is immensely useful and also saves dramatically on our power usage. Because as you can see here, we don't have any trucks using the energy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and purchase this upgrade so that I can build another steel factory. There we are. And we've got enough materials for another one of these. So I will go ahead and build that as well. Aluminum we have plenty of and it's cheap. Iron we are still short. Because it's all frozen, that makes sense. What else can we get? Are there any things nearby? Yes, water nearby. I will take that. And oxygen is going really expensively, so I will take that as well. Ooh, iron. Yes, I will take that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. How did I not see that before? That's really useful. And it's far enough away from our primary iron production that it's not going to get hit by the same EMP. So we will no longer have iron shortages. That said, it's not really affecting us right now and iron is very expensive. So I'm gonna sell some off for cash. Ooh, good. But I still love that steel production. Let's get even more. Very good. Scientific colony expanded. All right, so if we take a look at our share prices, I am at just shy of $10, and the next highest is at $7, so I'm doing pretty well. This is a good place to be. Our electricity is paying off our debt. Building up a steel reserve to upgrade our base. Iron is doing really well financially, so we're going to sell some off to make even more money. Aluminum is still super cheap, but we have fuel from our electrolysis reactor, which I have no use for as a robot, so we're going to sell that off. Oxygen, also no use, but is doing really well in the market. Sell that off. Water, sell that off. So as you can see, our funds are doing quite nicely. And I'm just going to keep buying these because these go up in price the more advanced your base is. And so there's a limited number of slots you can get from upgrading. So I'm going to take those as they're available. I'm going to build even more steel. More steel, because we have the iron for it. Well, kind of. Not really. That's okay. There we go. Sell, sell. Sell, bring in the money. Scientific colony expanded. Sell some silicon off. And electronics. All right, how much steel do we have? Oh, we have enough. So for the claim auctions, the generic ones, if it's cheaper than the black market one, it's usually a good idea to buy. Got it. All right, but I don't have enough carbon. Is there any more carbon left on the map? Yes, there is. The black market is online. Then I will take it. I will take all of that carbon. And I will buy another silicon production facility. Very good. 
Steel, we're pretty good on steel. Got tons and tons of aluminum. But we do have a surplus of water. And oxygen and fuel are both very expensive. So I'm going to build another electrolysis reactor. And build it here to get a bonus for them. And then it will convert water into oxygen and fuel. Oh, wow. We have a huge surplus of... Okay, so what does it take to get this? Two for a level five headquarters. So we want to upgrade, which we can do very soon or now. And then we need glass. All right, how do we get glass? Oops, I've been targeted by an EMP. Again. Okay, glass requires steel and silicon, which we have consumes oxygen and silicon. So, perhaps here? Nope. Nope, here. Can't be on slopes. Nope. Okay. Oxygen bonus? Yes. Alright. I'll dig it. Bam. That'll give us glass, which is ridiculously expensive right now. And will allow us to build an off-world market. Now, an off-world market is important because you get much, much better prices for your goods when you sell them. <sighs> Let's see if we can buy out this company. Sure, I'll bid. Ah, oh, so close. An underground nuke? Oh no. Oh, they took out my... Ah, oh, low iron. That could have gone better. Oh well, let's sell some stuff off, and then buy out our competition. There we go. Now this... ...gives us a lot of claims. Ooh, food is expensive. Oh, food is so expensive. All right, what are you? An engineering lab. What can I upgrade? Ooh, that's convenient. All right, how do I get food since that is so expensive right now? We build this. All right. What does that need? It needs water. Yep, just water. Nope, not there. Not there. All right, I'll take it. There, build more food, more food. Do we get more water? Where does water come from? We've got the claims, I'm gonna take them. Discovered improved food production. Excellent. Much, much better. Alright, what does it take to upgrade food again? More chemicals? Yeah, let's do it. Alright. Sell off that food for that sweet, sweet cash. Bam! Pay off some debt, increase our stock price. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. Do we, we are running low on water. Yep. So what this looks like it does is allows you to build minings next to things. Fascinating. 
Oh, that is powerful. Yes. Oh, that is amazing. So now we can build even more food production. Okay, sell off resources. Crash the markets. <laughs> Pay off debt. Build an off-world trading rocket launcher thing. Oh, and we finally burned through all of our claims. Good. All right, let's buy out some people. Let's sell some food. Excellent. Excellent, yes. Money, money. Sell all of the things. Sell them. Scientific colony expanded. Ooh, that's expensive. Okay. Purchase. Yes. Oh. Purchase. Yes. All right. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe. It's the lifeblood of any YouTube channel. And if you have any comments or ideas, please leave them in the comments box down below. I'm Seth Persigel, signing off.